Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and welcome. Today I want to share with you an easy fun fold card called a W fold and I will be using the Hippest Hippos bundle, a very cute one with these cute little hippos of course, but one thing that I love is all the little accessories uh, in the die set. So I'll show you some samples with those. But first, let's make our card and I just want to show you the basics of how it goes together. So you need to create a card base and I have chosen to do a five by five inch square. So my card base is five by 10 inches. And then you need to cut another piece, a strip that is somewhere between say one and two inches and the same length as the length of your opened card. So in my case, that would be 10 inches and I have done one and three quarter inches here. So uh, to assemble my card, I'm gonna fold my card in my card base in half, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some printed paper on the front and on the inside. And I'm going to be using the Designer Daydream paper, but of course you can use the paper that you like. Now I have cut mats for this. So I've cut mats that are four and three quarter inches square. And then my printed paper is four and five eighths inches square. So this is what it looks like so far. I've got my printed paper and mat on the front and then printed paper and mat on the inside and the inside of the front cover. Now you don't have to do this step if you prefer to just leave your card one layer or you can also of course decorate the front to your choosing. But I just wanna show you the assembly. So now we wanna take our strip that is the same length as the whole length of our card and what we want to do here is just, I'm going to put that aside, just fold that in half. You could score this, but I also wanted to just show you how easy it was to do even without doing a lot of measuring. And then you're just going to fold this piece in half again, and then fold this piece up to that halfway mark as well. So we're essentially folding this in two quarters. Now I'm going to put adhesive just on the first square or rectangle and the last one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my card front. I'm going to choose to line it up with the edge of my pool party mat and then keeping it as straight as you can, you're just going to adhere on the other side to the edge of the pool party mat. And then that gives you basically your fun fold. So you see how it closes up quite nicely. And, and then when you open it, you've got this W shape. Now I'm gonna to choose to put a strip of designer series paper, coordinating designer series paper, also from the Design of Daydream across the front. Now to create our little panels on the inside, I have prepared some little squares and my white uh, squares are about two and an eighth inch by two and an eighth inch square. And then the pool party ones are two and a quarter inch by two and a quarter inch square. And I'm just gonna put a little adhesive on three of my little sections here and go ahead and put these on. Now the embellishing, of course, is up to you how you want to do those, but I just wanted to show you uh, basically the construction. And then I had a thought as I was, when I was making the sample that there's really no place to write on this card. So this last panel, I've actually made it into a little mini card in and of itself. So this one is two and an eighth by four and a quarter, then fold it in half. And then as you can see, I put a little bit of the printed paper inside. So you've got a little place to write as well. And then on the front of the card, I've just done the same size of squares and then matted it one more time with a slightly larger white piece, just so that this stood out that 
little bit more than the inside panels. So that creates our fun fold. So let me show you the finished one. So I've embellished this one up with the Hippest Hippos bundle. And I think I've used nearly every single die with this samples. We've got that cute little wave die and the boat and the little life preserver and the snorkel set. And there's a funny little die in there and I worked out that it's actually the rudder for the boat and then added just some little bubbles there. And then inside the card, I've used the other two hippo images. So we've got the little hippo with the tutu and the hearts. And this one, I put glasses and holding the flower and then use, and then uh, the umbrella for the little card front. And then here, I stamp my words actually on that really great wash basin. This is actually my favorite dye in the whole set. And then just filled it up with some flowers for a very, very cute finish. I actually love this card. And if I had grandchildren, this would be for one of them. Now here's some other samples using the Hippest Hippos set. So here's another little uh, hippo in that wash basin and this time cut it out with the silver foil and uh, used actually those effervescent elements for some little bubbles along the top and here along the side and the um, white glimmer paper for my splashes and the little life preserver I just thought was pretty cute. So that's just a very fun, cute little card and of course you could use any of the hippos that suits the person you're going to give this to. And then here's a sample that was actually copied off of a Pinterest idea, but the photo was not watermarked. So I, I'm actually not sure who designed this initially, but I loved this and the concept that you could just use those cute little sort of beach dyes and not even use the hippos at all. And I thought it was just adorable with those very fun colors too. And then this sample was presented at a recent team event by Helen Wiggum. So this is just a really cute waterfall card. This is an oldie but a goodie and a card idea I need to resurrect, I think, and um, make another one of these. Just so fun. And then this project was designed by another team member for a team retreat, Sylvia Patterson. And this is just really cute, the little hippo in the wash basin making lots of splashes and uh, this little hippo carrying the umbrella. It's just a fun little scene. And then this last sample was also designed by Helen Wiggum for a team event. And just a really cute, simple idea with the hues of happiness papers in behind with just an adorable little hippo who's picked one of these little daisies uh, on the front. Now, one thing that I thought was a good idea was I actually put on a movie and just colored up some of the hippos and I have them in my stamp set. And I decided I could go ahead and color these in ahead of time, even before I knew what I was gonna use them for because there's really only so many colors that you can color a hippo. I've just left the flower and you could leave like the little tutu to color later to match your project. But that's just another idea of how to make this set even more usable for you to have those ready to go. So there's all my samples for this video. I hope you enjoyed that and you have fun with both the Hippest Hippos bundle and making your fun fold card. This is Jackie Williams and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.